Hey, what's going on, invaders? Welcome to the post show recap for Zorch Radio episode 263. We just turned off the microphones a second ago and I uh, just closed out the Thursday Night Wrecking Pit on realpunkradio.com. If you don't know what it is, it's an entire night dedicated to psychobilly music. It's all live radio that's surrounding our favorite genre of rock and roll. Uh, we follow Gone Mental, which is a killer show that goes on from 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific time. And then we go on from 7 until 10. That's Zorch Radio, of course, that we are. Uh, my name is Jake News. That's Shirsty the Valkyrie. That's DJ Ho Daddy. And the three of us combine forces and uh, pretend like we know what we're doing. We put our wonder twin springs together. <laughs> wonder triplets. Wonder yeah. triplets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Nah. No. <laughs> Just a lot of awkward hand gestures. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. We do. We pound it a lot. Fist bump. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. You just denied him. You can tell we do can this we a lot. Friendship. We, can we do this a lot. <laughs> yeah. Totally, totally hip. Totally. But anyways, uh, we, we play a lot of rock and roll. That's what it's all about, is the psychotronic rock and roll. It's our hybrid of psychobilly trash and surf that we play throughout the program. And why don't we go ahead and just pick out some of our favorite tracks that we played for tonight's episode. Yeah, so my favorite track was off of Bob Wayne's Driven by Demons album. It was the track Wired Up love Bob Wayne. Anything he does. <laughs> that's the one that's burned in his camper, too. Which is something I also love. His <laughs> CDs are burned on premises. I had to go with uh, Degenerated, and tonight we played Take This Trip, and it's off their album Arg. It's a great one. I love that All album artwork. Got the Hypnotoad there. <laughs> <laughs> and my favorite was a Count Orlock release. Bang Bang Bazooka off their self-titled. We played the track Dirty Hound off this one. Count Orlock. If you see anything with Count Orlock symbol on it, buy it. Because it's it's pretty much good. Just about everything they put out is gold, in my opinion. Awesome. Something else that we also do is we also have a topic um, that we discuss throughout the evening. And tonight we wanted to know what you're looking forward to in the year 2016. Um, we are all very ambitious people. And, uh, <laughs> to put it humbly. Yeah, to put it humbly. Um, lots of great plans. Um, the King Bubba Truck said uh, that he is definitely looking forward to going to more shows this year, especially seeing uh, Shake the Shack in their upcoming uh, show, too. Oh, the, the legendary Shack Shakers. That's it. I don't know what I'm talking about. Too many Shacks that are doing the wiggle. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of movement going on lately. Right. <laughs> We have a bunch of other uh, segments that we like to do as well. Uh, as you can see from my very large class here, that uh, we do a little <laughs> bit of drinking on the show. And uh, so we like to do a segment called The Toast. And tonight, uh, the toast from the chat room was from Van Man. And he was toasting to uh, his new band, Critical Distance, and staying awake for more shows. So he, that's, I guess, one of his resolutions for the year. Not fall asleep at 7 a.m. That's 7 right. <laughs> it gets tricky, man. I tell you what, I was almost falling asleep on the way driving over here. I yeah. don't know what happened. I was just, like, sitting in the car like, oh. I was telling Jake the other night, the minute I hear the Jeopardy theme song come on, oh, it's, <laughs> it's, just, time. it's so soothing. <laughs> it's true. But right after the toast, uh, I do a segment called Dig This, where I bring up a special record from my collection. And tonight, I did the Primate 5, and I played Ape Shimmy, Ape Shake off of that one. That's off the album 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's a pretty cool one there. Uh, I got that for free from the band, so scored big time on that one. That's nice of them. Heck yeah. <laughs> And uh, right after that, uh, Shirsi comes back on to do a trash testing minute where she talks about a very cool, trashy movie. Yes, I do. And I decided no better way to kick off 2016 than with an awesome sci fi action movie. 1992 Studio Canal production of Universal Soldier, starring Mr. Jean Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren. Uh, cyborgs, science, Vietnam flashbacks, lots of hot dogs. Uh, hot dogs? Oh, yeah. There's a scene where uh, Van Damme goes to a diner, and it's the first time he's actually eaten anything since the Vietnam War. So, like, he takes a bite of a hot dog, and he's just like, oh my god, food! And then, like, it pans away from the diner, and then comes back two minutes later, and his table is just, like, stacked with plates, and he's just eating everything. Oh, that's so silly. It is silly, <laughs> but it's funny. So, action, sci-fi, if you're a fan of 90s movies, check it out. Uh, we also have some awesome events that are going on, uh, too, especially this Saturday. 
uh, the 9th, we have Trashgasm going on. Jake and I are going to be at Scarecrow Video starting at 6 o'clock. Jake is going to be spinning records. And then at 7 o'clock, um, I'm going to be presenting the film Blood Feast, a Herschel Gordon Lewis gore classic. Um, and then afterwards, Jake is going to be spinning records again, uh, basically setting the mood for some movie digging that night. Yeah, big thanks to Something Weird Video for helping out, and also for uncovering that album or that movie. That movie, yeah. They're the reason why we can see that again. And so many more movies <laughs> yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, thousands, thousands of movies they have. Uh, rescued, I guess you could say. It's, yeah. it's kind of like a no-kill shelter for cinema. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the perfect tagline. We should tell them that. Um, also going on this month, James Honeycutt is going to be playing with uh, Jackson's Oddities at the Charleston in Bremerton. That's going to be happening uh, next Saturday, the 16th. A couple other pieces of information for you, too. Tonight on the episode of Zorch Radio, we announced the date and location for Zorch Invasion 5. So that's happening Saturday, April 30th at Slim's Last Chance. Line up to be announced soon. Uh, yeah, yeah, stoked for that one. Uh, other pieces of news. I did a guest session on Shake the Shack, KEXP's Rockabilly program last Friday. Uh, big thanks to Brian Foss for having me in on the studio for that. Uh, Brian was filling in for Mike and Leon, and, and uh, he accepted my self-made invitation. <laughs> <laughs> so, he, he didn't say no. <laughs> and then also on Tuesday, I was able to join up with guys, Grown Ass Men podcast, which is kind of like a, a crude talk show based podcast that goes on. I'll post links for both the Shake the Shack episode and the uh, Grown Ass Men podcast down below. And the Shake the Shack episode, the streaming for that goes down a week from now. They only have it up for two weeks from the time that it's posted. But it's been a long time. We had like two weeks off. And it feels like it's been two years, so mm -hmm. it's it's just been... feels really good to get back into the swing of things, to say the least. That we still know how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we didn't screw up too bad tonight. <laughs> uh, if you want, you can always go to realpunkradio.com and make a contribution to the network to make sure that programs like Zorch Radio, programs like Gone Mental, Rock and Roll Manifesto, Tommy Unit Live, can continue and give you the independent, unfiltered, uninfluenced edge of rock and roll because there's a little bit too much influence in just about every single media outlet if you ask me maybe just a little bit of influence well yeah <laughs> different kind of influence a oh, okay. little bit of influence <laughs> different kind that's <laughs> different than this kind of influence <laughs> uh you can always subscribe to the youtube channel that's zorch radio youtube.com slash zorch radio so you can stay updated when we release post show recaps when we release post gig recaps caps uh when we do from the production room and also when we do 66 second reviews you can stay updated on all those videos that being said we'll see you guys six days 21 hours my name's jake noose that's shirsty valkyrie that's dj hodaddy and we're reminding you that trashgasm is happening on saturday the 9th <laughs> of january it's all ages it's free it starts at 6 p.m at scarecrow video Big thanks to Something Weird Video for helping us out with this. And also, nobody cares about your haircut.